Bummer in Heat with her suitors. That's Bummer there. And this went on for several days where there were numerous male suitors coming to woo our beautiful Bummer cat and make babies with her. Those were three of the, the male cats around and they were mewing and making a noise and getting Sava all upset. She was very concerned about her baby sister. And I think uh, in the next reel we'll even see some of the kittens up Where he moves his little fingers in front of them. And he's trying to keep Sava. He's like a referee. <laughs> cute, Michael. Very cute. This is the Lepec porch, of course. We're in France. It's uh, probably May, June of 1976. This was shortly before we moved back, maybe a month or two before we moved. Well, we moved back in July, July 4th, obviously, arriving in New York. But this was springtime in Paris. Hello, Karen. Looks like she's loading up the Volvo there with the 90 sticker for the snow tires still on the car probably. They're bringing in a bunch of papers. What is all that Karen? Homework? <laughs> or one of Adri's projects for ASP. Oh this is when Adri went to Venice. She took the kids to Venice while I was house hunting in um, Atlanta. Margie, and this this is St. Mark's Square. Why don't I? Oh yeah, I do. This is St. Mark's Square. Pigeons flocking around. Michael and Karen and Tommy and I guess that's a boyfriend there. Peanuts in their hands, and the look at Margie's got got birds on her arms. Isn't that cute? Oh, Marge, that's great. What a great scene. Look at the look at the pigeons all over the place. Karen having a ball. She's got her books in her hand, the tour book, tour guide for Venice, Venezia. Some of the rooftop scenes. Everyone taking pictures. Karen looked beautiful with her bobbed hairdo. And Michael's driving the horse. Okay, Michael, get him Tiger with his leather jacket on. Karen in the back seat, back seat driver. Tommy's got the whip. Margie on the side in her blue coat. Michael's got his dad's hat on. Keeping warm. Back in Lepec again, that's the neighbor's house. We saw a man build that house. It must have taken him 10 years from scratch. He did every stick of work in there. All the masonry work, all those beautiful blocks of granite. What's Michael doing? <laughs> Looking around for something. What'd you lose? Something got lost in the grass. Must have been the ball. Tommy's looking around. Michael's looking around. Karen's looking around. What are they looking for? Margie. That's Margie in the yellow shirt. She's getting tall. Getting tall, Maj. Something's oh no, they're chestnuts. The chestnut trees were dropping off their their buckeyes. That's what a buckeye is, you Ohio kids. They're chestnuts. Buckeye state. And, or was it Easter eggs? I guess they were and here are the kittens. Oh Bummer is checking out or Savaz checking out Bummer's kittens, so the the uh, the one two three four one two three four five I guess there were right she checked out yeah made sure they're all okay I see five heads there I think so how many do you see guys there's the mother taking care of her little kitties
Okay, almost to the end of reel 72 on tape number 166. We're at five, say 600 by the time this thing ends. The next reel is going to be a reel number 74, which is London. There's Maji. Hi, Maj. There's that stool that every kid used to climb up. That's the end of this one, folks. There was an Arab lady going by in a black dress before, and here is in uh, outside London, Kew Gardens. Quick shot of that cricket match. We're near, not too far from Heathrow Airport people going in to take a look at the Hampton Court Palace, one of Henry VIII's castles. Of course, you could teach your young cousin a lot of things about the world. Oh, there's Henry VIII in stained glass windows. Yeah, these are the famous stained glass Henry VIII windows of Hampton Court. And there's Big Ben, part of the Parliament structure, looking across the river at the uh, the Parliament, very much the way we looked across the river river uh, Danube into Budapest. I guess it was the Pest part of Budapest at the Parliament in Hungary. And on top of that tall needle monument. Westminster Abbey, the church, famous in English history, all the weddings of the France. We were moving out of Lepec, and I said, why don't we stay in an unforgettable place, and this really was. This is where the World War I peace treaty was signed. I think maybe we're looking at that now. No. Or that, that's the hall where the peace treaty was signed. We may see the table there somewhere. That's the dining room. And there's the king and queen of France in 1812, before they lost their heads. Tommy's waving, dropping pennies or something down to the bottom. Karen's coming out with Sava. And we had two balconies. There was one balcony. That was one of the bedrooms. Two huge suites almost. And Tommy's on the other balcony. So those were the two rooms we had. There's the corner of the structure. Beautifully maintained building, probably 300 years old. Hi, Karen. And we rented a Simca in honor of the, gosh, that must have been a 1960, when did we move to Cleveland? 61 Simca I had for about five years before the, um, before the old Starfire convertible, 1965 old Starfire convertible, I sold the Simca from Cleveland, Cincinnati days. And we have driven from Paris to the Cherbourg area. There's another German bunker guarding even this part of land mer, land and sea. That was a restaurant. We had our last fruit de mer. The kids were walking around the beach. We got quite, drove from Paris early in the morning, did a little bit of sightseeing. Oh, and there's Tommy's carrying Bummer, who gassed the whole way. Horrible gas odor smells in the car with us. I wanted to put her on the roof, and Adrian thought I was nuts, but the smells were horrible. Karen and uh, Michael, I don't know if this was part of their little punishment walk, but they were carrying on when we reached there, and as we were driving around, they were fighting with each other. So I said, fine, walk, walk to the restaurant, or walk back to the restaurant. These are the walkways that go down when the Queenie 2 pulls up, pulls up and everyone gets on. The Volvo is going to get a bath underneath its body now to wash off any bugs or diseases that might be imported in, in the United States. I think they charged the hundred dollars for what's going on right here. Wash the wheels, wash a little bit of the mud off of the undercarriage. 